want to focus on the root cause of illness or the root cause of some sort of dis-ease in the human body. But I also am very excited to try to optimize people's health um, and help them live you know, the best lives that they can. Hi, everybody. So I would like to welcome Colleen Breen Johnson uh, to Complete Wellness. Colleen is going to be heading up the functional medicine department. And I'm really excited about that. Colleen, I've known for, I think we first met last year sometime and was very impressed with her. And now the opportunity has come for her to join us. Uh, I'm really excited about that. So tell us a little bit about who you are and your experience in medicine in general and of course in functional medicine. Sure. Well, thank you. I'm very excited to be a part of the Complete Wellness team. Um, I am a physician assistant. I've been practicing for many years now. And for the last three years, I've really become uh, much more involved and much more passionate in integrative medicine. I initially started in the emergency room um, and got a taste of a lot of different things. Obviously, uh, crazy busy. But at the same time, I learned I wasn't really helping people. I wasn't fixing the problem necessarily. I was kind of putting a Band-Aid on it and sending them off. Um, and a lot of the emergencies that I saw, whether it be um, diabetic ketoacidosis or heart attacks, things like that, I know are so preventable in many, many ways. Um, so I kind of transitioned out of that. I actually worked for a few years doing plastic and reconstructive surgery as well as trauma surgery. Um, which was definitely something different, but I worked with a lot of cancer patients and that instilled in me even more. Um, how do we prevent disease? How do we get people to optimize their lives and their functionality before they get to that point where they're having all these health issues? Um, so that's really what made me become more interested in integrative medicine or functional medicine. There's lots of different names for it, but um, ultimately we want to focus on the root cause of illness or the root cause of some sort of dis-ease in the human body. But I also am very excited to try to optimize people's health um, and help them live you know, the best lives that they can. What thrills me about that is that you have a very broad range of knowledge. You've seen a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Clearly, you've done a lot of things in all aspects of medicine. Um, so you're clearly qualified to see pretty much anybody that's gonna walk into complete wellness. Um, and you know both sides of it. You've experienced both sides of it. You know the real hardcore medical side and you know the functional medicine health and wellness oriented side right so you can express to a patient well in typical medical care we might do this but in functional medical care we're going to do this exactly exactly so that's that's exciting it also uh begs a question are you can you be seen as a primary health care provider? A lot of what I do is, is more primary care. And I think um, there's obviously a huge need for medical specialties. But as a primary care provider, um, it allows me and the rest of us in primary care the opportunity to focus on the daily health issues that people encounter and also hopefully either eliminate or reverse some of them, if not prevent them from ever happening. Um, so that's where I would definitely say I do consider myself more of a primary care provider um, with little subspecialties. So you could do an annual physical on somebody? Yeah, absolutely. That's good to know, everybody out there. Mm -hmm. um, and what kind of patient do you love to see? Who is the patient that walks into your office and you just start to lick your chops and say, oh, I'm gonna hit a grand slam with this patient? Um, I always love a challenge. So I do, I do appreciate a patient who uh, maybe has some sort of question or issue that I'm not completely familiar with, but I really love working with the people who don't believe it who are either pessimists or just non-believers and don't believe that they can actually heal themselves or they don't believe that they can actually feel better and live um, 
just much more optimally. Those are the patients I love. Great. And within that, is there any particular type of problem that you like to see? Um, I really appreciate hormones. Um, I think hormones are a little bit underrated or they're under the radar in a lot of primary care practices. Um, and it's hard for people to understand, but I think much, much of hormone replacement therapy or just hormone regulation can be fixed without medication. Great. And when someone comes to see you, what should they expect? What would a typical visit be like? I think they can definitely expect compassion um, and a listening ear because I think a lot of patients now are frustrated with you know traditional medicine because they're not heard or they don't get that face time with the practitioner where they just feel like they were rushed out, they were given like two or three prescriptions, they're not even sure what they're for, but they take the pills and they go see their doctor every three months or every six months and they have more blood work and they still don't understand what's going on with them, but they're just hoping to feel better. Um, so I hope patients find compassion and I hope that they also trust me that I'm working for them. Great. And you'll ask them a billion questions, of course. Lots. And do you often get blood work from patients? I will always do blood work. Um, and I think what's really important for patients that I see to understand is that blood work is a snapshot of a moment in time um, in their overall health. I don't just treat the blood work. I don't just treat the lab results. I treat the symptoms. I treat the patient. I treat the whole package, which is, I guess, part of holistic medicine or integrative medicine. So labs are important, but they're not the only thing that we work with. Great. Okay. Welcome, Colleen. Very excited to have you, of course. Thank you. Because of the current situation, you're starting virtually yes. with some people. So we won't see you physically face-to-face -face for some, some time. Uh, but hopefully the beginning of June, we'll get back to the physical location. Absolutely. I'm very much looking forward to it. Great. Thank you so much. Great to see you. Thank you. You too.